Welcome back to Let's Both Play Lost in Nightmares, the DLC chapter for Resident Evil 5. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'm Ronan Drake. There's a door opening up in the wall. I assumed as much. I'm just gonna point my gun at it. I'm getting a bunch of ah, uh, I'm it's it's a quick time event. Oh. Didn't even give me an X prompt. I don't think Chris plays the piano. <laughs> Damn it! The second Jill gets a note wrong, it slams shut. Well, yeah, it's 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 turning my camera to look at it. So is this one of those things where I have to jump through and then pull the switch to open it for you? I don't know. There's a crest on the other side and a big red button. Damn it. I'm just sucking. Centaur emblem. I think that goes to the first floor. Uh, nothing happened that I need to push the button for, and I can't. Don't get an X prompt. I'm gonna shoot it. It made an amusingly cartoonish ricochet noise, but nothing happened. Yeah, there was the uh, the door on the right next to the entrance that uh, that had. Oh, I think something can go in here. Oh, yeah. I was about to check the inventory and get a description, and then I remembered this game doesn't do that. Okay, now the first floor door here. Oh, yeah. Do we check out the scary door with the yelling behind it, or...? You know, I uh, was so uh, engrossed in the conversation we had in the credits video. Oh, what a pleasant room. <laughs> Looking up for... I wasn't actually expecting to find that, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> Go on. Uh, got carried away in the conversation in the credits video, and I forgot to address a question I like to ask at the end of a series, which is, do I recommend this game? And since we're kind of in the middle of something, I'll keep the answer short and say, yes. My answer is an overwhelming, resounding yes. Hey, look at that. He's got a painting of the uh, flower room from the temple. Ah, that's a nice touch, actually. Yeah, since all of his plans revolve around the virus from the flowers. There's another one over here. He wants to be reminded. But yeah, I mean, you know, as... I mean, people refer to this one, this game as the weirdly racist one very often, so... That's true. And, uh... I think... Did you hear that? No. I thought I heard a door, Jimmy, but I might have been, uh... I don't know if it was a monster or if they're saying, hey, it's hella windy outside. Yeah. Uh, there is something up there that I missed when I was up there, so. I see a, uh, a badge I can shoot. Uh, go ahead, I guess. That might have been it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil 5. Uh, I don't know what to say about... I feel like the best thing you can say about some of the you know, racial awkwardness in this game is that at least I get the impression that it was unintentional for the most part. Insert emblem. You know, being a Japanese developer and all that. Checkpoint. Oh, it's a sepia tuned hallway. Do you hear barking? I do now. Oh. Hmm. Let's stay back here for a moment. I'm just gonna peek around the corner. Nothing. Okay. Running. 
I'm starting to wonder if the Magnum is a red herring and this whole thing is like a puzzle DLC. We've also been getting uh, handgun ammo. Investigate. It's locked. Jill might be able to get it open. Pick lock. I hear big footsteps. Open. Uh, get in there. Scratched out faces on the painting. Creepy. And the computer. Surprisingly modern. There's those footsteps again. It's like a door slamming in the wind or something. I don't know. Let's take a look. Ooh. This computer requires three passwords. Well, we have two. It doesn't, doesn't even let me enter, uh, enter them. You do hear that, right? Uh, it's almost like it's, we're on a ship creaking as in the wind. Uh, another painting of the flower room. I'm not going to be able to stop seeing those. Uh... But yeah, cre uh, kind of awkwardness about the dark continent and all that aside. Uh... I feel like Resident Evil 5 is a really solid co-op action game. I can see where the fact that it isn't the slightest bit scary would turn off uh, some fans of the series, but uh, you know, I really enjoyed it. Horror games are hard to keep scary the further you go with them. It happens to every horror series. Yeah. They always eventually seem to try something. They always either seem to fully embrace the action thing or try something a bit out of left field in order to bring back the uh, horror. Like, uh, Silent Hill did that game for the Wii where you cannot fight at all and you have to run. And then, uh, this series said, hey, let's make it first person and you're not a guy who uses a gun. Yeah, they... They kind of threw out everything with Resident Evil 7, didn't they? They changed the perspective, they made you some guy you've never heard of instead of one of these, like, superhuman heroes they've been building up for, like, ten years at that point. Like, a, ha a whole cluster of grenades over here. Would you like the uh, hand grenades or the incendiary grenades? I'll take the incendiaries. I think I have more experience with those. Uh, treasure chest. Um, oh, hey. Aha. Uh -huh. That's well put. Uh, also of note, uh, I never play the single player mode, so I have no idea. How, if the uh, single-player AI is as bad as uh, some people say. Heat-sensitive just... paper. Odd. Okay. Oh. oh! I heard the that. The fireplace. The fireplace. Yes, the fireplace. The one we can interact with. That was back uh, upstairs, the... wasn't it? I thought I heard no. something fall over. Which yeah, uh, there's a door over here. Oh, so there is. Locked from the inside, okay. I just kicked it. <laughs> I wonder job, if this Chris. is one of those doors you can, like, you mash the button a few times and... Usually it's three. Yeah, it's not working. I guess the clinky noise is meant to be different. Oh, that's right, they were usually the ones with the big uh, padlock you could already shoot off anyway. Yeah. Speaking through the hole to make sure nothing's just lurking right there in the hallway. I don't like that you can't hold the door open for somebody. Yeah, it does seem kind of rude, doesn't it? So I guess the thing was... It's, it's like all the doors are weighted. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. Bat birds. I think it's a bat. Close enough. Well, how about seven. that? Resident Evil 5 actually got me. Well done. I keep expecting the guy on the stairs to be gone. I don't know if it was a corridor that looked like that, but there was a thing in the early Resident Evil games that they liked having you walk down a narrow corridor so zombie dogs could jump in the windows. Yeah, that's what I was first thinking of. <laughs> like, are they going to bring back the zombie dogs? Like the classic ones? Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't have to change too much. Okay, so up there, there's a switch of some kind. Oh. 
So I'll go throw you across the thing again. Or wait, is, the, is this the room with the fireplace in it? Yes. Oh. Well, let's do that first. Burn paper. Just throws it in. No, Jill. Nicely done. Uh, jump cut. It, I does just... sound like, it does sound every now and then like someone is ra is rattling the uh, that door handles. Did we try this door? Yes. That led to the piano. Right. Okay. And the toilet. <laughs> actually, it's just actually it's just a urinal. Now that you mention it, that's really weird. Most private re instant, uh, residences don't even have urinals. Uh, upstairs? Are we trying? Are we throwing me across the thing? Or sorry, I was uh, walking in a straight line while thinking to myself. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned it before or not, but uh, they did do an, one of those even more HD re remasters of uh, this game at one point. Uh huh. Uh, that was I wrote this down June two, 2016. And, uh, one of the marketing blur uh, points on that was this idea that... I guess I'll just stare through the wall. One of the uh, marketing points on that game was this idea that they improved the partner AI in single-player mode. Huh. What ha Anything happened when you pulled a switch? Uh, it turns out not a switch. It was a sniper rifle. Ooh. Well, you're good with that to begin with. Yeah. There you are. Let's see. The passwords went into the computer, which was uh, past the... This... Not the same sniper rifle from the main game. Not the one I was using mostly, but... Strange that we found a shot, uh, magnum before a shotgun. I like that in this you know, series of all things. It's just a bat that flies in the window. You know, it'd be really creepy. What's that? The door was uh, locked again. This door. Oh, I forgot we unlocked that one. Yeah, that would be good. I like, uh... Uh, Umbrella logo. Patrick's Memoirs 3. I have been in uh, Master Spencer's employ for the majority of my adult life. As of late, however, I find his actions to be inscrutable. For example, he has taken every possible precaution to conceal his whereabouts from the outside world. For what reason, I do not know. Then one day, he asked me to find a certain man and make him aware of the Master's work. I do not know why he would go to such lengths to contact this man, but perhaps he wanted to see if someone could find him. The man in question is one Mr. Albert Wesker, a name I have not heard in quite a long time. I only met him once, and that was over ten years ago. I am ashamed to admit that I cannot recall his face, because as head butler it is my job to remember people. The reason, I believe, is because of his eyes. Those cold, unfeeling eyes that completely overshadowed his other features. At any rate, I have endeavored to get in the information into Wesker's hands without letting on that it was Master Spencer's desire that he have that information. I know of a certain unscrupulous individual who could put the information on the streets for the right price. He is the kind that does not care who he talks to. What made the individual I found of such importance is that he is in the employ of a female sp who has regular dealings with Wesker. I paid this man, I forget if his name was Roberto or Ricardo, more than he deserved and gave him the bare minimum of information necessary to fulfill Master Spencer's wishes. I dutifully carried out Master Spencer's directions to the letter. It was at this point that the situation took an even more cryptic turn. The Master, he let me go, but I do not know why. I asked him for a reason, the only time I have ever questioned him, but he responded with only silence. I do not know what to do now. I am filled with a sense of loss. 
Everything I have ever known is gone. I dedicated my entire life to serving the Spencer household, and now that book has been forcibly closed for no apparent reason. The only ones who, re who remain will be those untrustworthy security guards and the people imprisoned below the premises. I truly doubt the guard's ability to attend to all of Master Spencer's needs. Could it be that he plans on dying? No, he's not that type of man. He would not want to leave all his affairs in such an unfinished state. Master Spencer must have some grand machinations at work that are beyond my ability to comprehend. At any rate, I can only obey his wishes and take my leave. I will be loyal until the end, even if it breaks my heart to do so. There's another file here. It looks to be a list of test subjects. Test subjects. Hans, Felicia, Marco, Jonah, Irma, Ken, Laura, William, Hero, Derek, Miles, uh, Alex, Albert is number 13. The number of candidates has been limited to the 13 individuals listed above. Oh. It just... It was just... That was it for... There's a safe in there. Hmm. Weird. Even when I was looking at that, I was sure it was going... Oh, God. Oh, I did it again. Oh, Jesus. Well, well, well. Who's a sandwich now? Shit, it's a trap. We gotta shut it off. Uh, ammo. Uh, there's a, there's a lever on the other side of this wall. Okay. Uh, safe. It has a crank in it. I, I, I just picked up a square crank. Yeah. I, I, there's no... Uh... I don't know where you want me to go here. Um... Wait, is that the room with the... Can you see the lock? Oh, shit, you're right. I shot it off. Uh... Uh... <laughs> is there a crouch button? That would be really handy right about now. I uh, I also found a a uh, crank lever, and there was a document in the library. A document? Uh, I didn't get a chance to read it because you know, death was approaching. I was kind of surprised neither of them said it, but you know, I was nearly a Chris sandwich. Yeah, this is Spencer's. Uh, uh, oh yeah, I, 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 uh, or, or was the, the the crank inside the safe? Uh, sorry. Oh, I can't back out of this. I guess I have to finish it. Uh, Spencer's memoir is one. I'm really I'm really impressed. You even noticed this? It's not even. Well, I was or I was trying to get. Through, I was like, maybe if I pull a book, the a door will open in the in the dock in the wall. Right. Uh, I, Oswell E. Spencer, founder of Umbrella, as well as its chief executive officer, hereby proclaim myself as ruler of all mankind. <laughs> That's a great start. Well, I will note there are two more documents in this library, so... Everyone shall prostrate themselves before me, as they once did for the ancient false gods. At least that was what my destiny should have been. But I did not become a god. I could not sever my ties to my own weak humanity. Nice use of a semicolon. Uh... Oh. That's it? No, I moved the mouse and it cut me off. Weird. Uh, my own weak humanity. Instead, my body is being destroyed by this damned disease. The disease of age. It has carved wrinkles in my face like a well-weathered canyon, and my arms are like the thin, withered branches of a dying tree. Age has even deprived me of the use of my legs. The only chance I'll ever have of becoming a god and shaping humanity's destiny, unnecessary comma, is to stop this disease from continuing to ravage my body. I believe there's a saying about realizing the joys of life when one is at death's doorstep. Sayings like that are for the weak who are going to die. They attempt to mask their fears with pithy aphorisms. 
Mortals can't comprehend what life means for those uh, who death is... Mortals can't comp comprehend what life means for those who death is not a concern. I don't think that was written properly. Uh, the ignorant are fond of making generalizations to include those who would not be party to their pedantic musings. I will undo this unjust travesty done to me by time, and I will present myself as the perfect being that will rule over all mankind. I will give them a new set of commandments to govern their lives. All that remains is to find the key to eternal life. The virus manufactured by Umbrella is that key. It suppresses telomere shortening, which negates the pro function that limits cell division. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Somewhere in that process is the key to immortality. If the process could be perfected, that key would be mine. Uh, I have the means available to me. I can realize my ambitions thanks to Alex. Huh. I lost much in the hu in, in the human capital following Umbrella's bankruptcy, but I still have Alex, the best and brightest of them all and the last of my children. I have faith that if anyone can find a cure for the ailment that keeps me from assuming my role as the head of mankind, it is Alex. Alex will find a way. And that's where it ends. Spencer's Memoirs 2. I have done everything Alex has asked of me. Alex's ingenuity far surpasses those of normal people. We wait for the appearance uh, the, for the appropriate time, gather the necessary materials, and Alex continues to keep the operation running smoothly. I'm beginning to think that Alex may be somewhere in this house. Most children are held back by the limits of their own intellect, but not so with Alex. I've never witnessed anyone so adept at absorbing the talents of others simply by observing them. I could not be more pleased. Alex displays superior qualities to everyone else. I provided everything Alex and the other researchers would need to conduct their research. Unlimited funding, top-of-the-line equipment, research materials, and an endless supply of test subjects. The only thing wanting is time. They will conduct their research on an isolated island in the South Seas that is home to an abandoned military installation from a nearby country. Alex has already gone there with a group of research assistants, research materials, and hundreds of test subjects. I waited in earnest for good tidings of their research. Instead, I received only a phone call a month later asking me to send more test subjects. How was it possible that they had gone through hundreds of test subjects in only a month? I'm a frustration rose out of the center to reassure me. You'll be pleased to hear that all experiments are running smoothly. And so I continue to wait. Then there's another one here and another one over there. The timer did go while I was reading the first one, so perhaps those should wait. All right. Uh, jump cut. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, I'm going to call it here. All right. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'm Ronan Drake, and we have reading to, to catch up on. <laughs> but that we'll have to wait for the next episode of Let's Both Play Lost in Nightmares, the DLC chapter for Resident Evil 5. Later!